All right, so welcome to video two. Um, if we take a look at the Leica machine, uh, the uh, anti-roll plate is uh, a little different. Um, the glass for a Leica machine is actually smooth all around. It's of uniform thickness uh, throughout its perimeter. So in order to create the gap, what uh, the folks at Leica have done is the profit of these aluminum tabs on the side here and that's actually what creates the gap now the problem with the Leica ones is with time uh, the aluminum it's uh, probably 60 61 T uh, aluminum it's much much softer than the uh, the hardness of the uh, microtone blade which is uh, probably closer to around uh, 60 uh, Rockwell um, so with time the edge of that microtone blade, although it's, it's just kind of uh, a wafer thin on the tip, it still manages to dig a little groove. So you can see the uh, stick here is catching in this little groove right here. So if you have a Leica, you probably just flip your anti-roll plate over and you'll see with time this groove starts to uh, dig in. Now, because of the way that it comes over, um, what ends, ends up happening is, in this plane, the, the right-sided one tends to, uh, because of the, the arc of it coming down, tends to get a little bit more abused. Uh, <laughs> so what happens with time is, not only does the gap decrease, but it becomes a little bit skewed in the sense that your gap is uh, uneven uh, throughout the length. So you'll have a greater gap on the left side than the right. So sometimes your sections will kind of catch just on one side. So um, now might be a good time to take a look at my favorite materials. Now, these are my favorite materials. Um, scotch tape, and that's literally just tape like this. Um, foil tape, which is aluminum duck foil tape. Not duct tape, but foil tape. Micropore. We, we saw that in the early one, and uh, just to post it. So um, uh, ideally, it's the uh, the smaller post it. But anyways, you can just uh, just say it's basically a, a piece of paper. Um, I just kind of tear the uh, the edge off here and use it there and use the sticky part to my advantage. Uh, by the way, the thickness here is at the sticky <laughs> the sticky part. Um, so. Let's talk about the foil tape. This is magical stuff. And basically what I uh, end up doing most of the time is I, um, I cut little strips of the foil tape and I just keep them, the edges, just uh, loosely peeled. And what I do is when I need that extra thickness, I just add them right here. And I leave a little tab here. And if I don't need it or I'm not so sure, I just lift it up and I just fold it under when I need it. Now, the neat thing with the uh, added benefit of the Leica is that um, it rests, the glass plate rests on these ridges here. And it makes a little shelf that these uh, set screws can force against. Now, you can use that to your advantage. And here, if you take a look at this one, what I did is I put some uh, micropore tape, I don't know if you can see that, just on the edges. So what happens is um, this micropore tape just rests on the little shelves and I've effectively increased my gap. Now, if you find that one side is worn more than the other, you might need a double layer. And um, this one's just a single one, but I have uh, some glass plates where I just had to put a double layer. Um, and that effectively, effectively evened out the gap and solved a lot of my sectioning problems. All right, some fine details now. Um, cutting temperature, again, is going to affect the, uh, the gap, as we saw with the adipose tissue. So if you were cutting a little colder, maybe that tissue wouldn't compress so much, and it wouldn't, uh, uh, it wouldn't cut so thick, OK? Um, the other thing to keep in mind is the clearance angle. Now, that's going to affect the uh, apparent gap uh, in uh, viewing it from the block face. And you might have to make some adjustments with the uh, advancing 
and uh, pulling back of the anti-roll plate. So some fine adjustments might need to be done even if you added the tape just for that one piece. Uh, it might get by but depending on your um, uh, clearance angle uh, you might have to do a slight adjustment to the anti-roll plate. I hope you find this useful and um, stay tuned for many more videos. Thank you very much.